Let me get my gloves a minute. Hands are freezing. Welcome to the vlog. Um, and I got some a little bit small, a little bit special today. Um, for me and hopefully for you. I've come up to one of my local favourite spots and it is absolutely clegged in with mist. It is gorgeous, um, but very cold. And it was still, but now it's a little bit breezier, if breezy is a word. Uh, so the trees are sort of fluttering in the, in the, um, in the wind. Uh, I have had a coffee. <laughs> If I'm abnormally fast, uh, I normally I'm a bit sort of like that, but uh, yeah, I've had a, a coffee so I'm buzzing and the conditions are good. But I've just parked in the car park of Martinsell and I have bumped into Stephen Musgrove. Um, I parked my car, they were stood there and I thought, oh, another photographer. And I noticed his vlogging rig and I thought, oh, another vlogger. I wonder who that is. And then we got chatting and yeah. So yeah, it's nice, he recognised me, um, which is always nice. Um, so yeah, if you haven't, uh, if you don't know anything about Stephen, um, head over to, I'll put the links down here, or I'll put one of his videos up on the top right corner so you go and check him out. He's a really nice chap. Um, we're just going out for a walk, socially distancing, obviously. Um, yeah, just doing a bit of vlogging along the way. So, this is my, my patch of the, uh, my neck of the, in my neck of the woods <laughs> so I'm just gonna go and do my thing uh, he's happy to uh, come with me and I'm and I'm happy to uh, for him to come with me so yeah I've seen something completely different it's behind me uh, I haven't shot it before I'm gonna give it a go because I've been up here loads of times and it's just nice to shoot something different uh, and the trees are on that they've turned obviously well turned but they're still hanging on to some of them colors so you're starting to get some of these thick branches, like limby branches appearing through the colour, uh, which I really enjoy taking pictures of, so I'm going to take a picture of this tree uh, and then we're going to get cracking and walk up the hill to Martin Sale, see if we can get something there. Come on. So we're halfway to Martin Cell Lone Tree, uh, where there are a few different opportunities for images, and we're just taking the time because the, the, the fog and the mist is so thick. Uh, we've just got ample amount of time to shoot, and I'm trying to open my eyes uh, to new opportunities, which is something that I do encourage you guys to do. Is I always bang on about going to the same spot every time and time and time again, and that's not just to dial down the compositions that you know will work but the more you go, it's like when you watch a film it's got a bit of thinking in it, every time you watch it you notice something else and it's the exact same with photography if you come down here a thousand times each time you go you might notice something else so yeah, we're just going to hang around here for a little bit just to see if we can uh, find anything else and then we're going to head up to a Martin Sell Hill
So this is the infamous misty tunnel that, ever, that everyone wants to shoot around here, you can see. Uh, I've shot here several times, I'll put some images on the screen um, from down down this way there's some nice twisted oaks and they all lean towards this this hill um, and it obviously leads it to the path here. Now I've never shot up here before looking that way so it could be a good opportunity to mix things up a little bit. I have shot down there several times and I've got nice pictures but I always wanted more mist <laughs> and today we've definitely got more mist. It is absolutely thick as you like, um, which is creating some really nice, really nice atmosphere. Yeah, I might have a little go, try and shoot this arch and just see, see how we get on. Uh, Stephen's disappeared into the fog somewhere, I have no idea where he is. Very peaceful, you can hear the raindrops hitting the leaves on the ground. Yeah, it's pretty special. Pretty special. Right, so I'm just going to quickly set up and then we're going to talk about a little bit about what I'm intended on doing and what I'm looking for with this image. Uh, I've seen something here where I like the little bit of colour creeping in around the top of the frame, but I don't particularly like this big thick branch which kicks in and the rest of it is very painterly and ethereal and this I think is kind of a little bit distracting. So I'm going to take this image, then I'm going to walk further down and eliminate this and just have dead and missed and then we'll take another shot so you can see the comparison um, I think sometimes um, seeing the yin and yang uh, will, helps you visualize take two shots it's digital no one's gonna get hurt <laughs> but if you take a thousand pictures so yeah uh, always take enough images gather enough information uh, so you're not disappointed when you go home right so we've set our competition up um, this is the tree that I was talking about coming down in the frame. I'm not entirely sure I like it, but it's there nevertheless and we're going to do another shot further down that way uh, so you can see. Oh, get the camera. So I'm around a 60th of a second. ISO 400 to try and get my shot speed up a little bit higher because I have got some moving branches and leaves in the uh, in the upper section of my image. I've obviously got a nice vanishing point. I've put the tree on the third and you know the usual the usual rules apply when they're worth applying to an image. Uh, I'm not particularly struck on I'm not particularly struck on uh, any certain rules um, but in this instance, I'm just going to brighten it up a tad. You can see my histogram is touching the right, but it's not it's not clipping. It's not banked right up. I think I probably will end up bracketing. Anyway, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it there. It's sixtieth of a second. I'm using f6.3 because I want this in focus. I ain't too worried about down there. Even this tree here, the big one in the middle, is going to be it's going to be out of focus. Well, it's going to be softer. So I manually focus. I use the focus peak in if I want. And there you go. You can see everything is in focus at 6.3. I've got these trees, but down here and around there isn't. That's fine, absolutely fine. Two second timer. And there we go. It's right into the card. And you can see my image, it is quite dark. But you can see by the histogram we've got all the information in the middle. I tend to ignore these blinkies on the Sony because they tend to be uh, 
a little bit off, but I would say it is quite bright around here. What I might do is just take a bracketed image just so that uh, I can, I've got that option to just level out, the level out the exposure, I can bring the foreground up, just drop them highlights. But yeah, that's pretty much shot number one or two of the day. Uh, I'm gonna move further down now, and like I said, try and eliminate all this up here and do something a little bit more arty-farty. Now this shot is going to be really tricky. If you can see this highlight here, the sun is just starting to peak through the, uh, the thick blanket of cl uh, cloud and fog, mist, whichever you want to call it. So we're going to have to be a little bit quicker here. I've come higher with the tripod, looking down more to try and eliminate more of the right hand side of the frame. The previous shot didn't particularly like a lot of the dead space on the right hand side. So by coming around to the right hand side, looking more down at the trees, putting the vanishing point in my top right hand corner. I'm forcing the eye to go around my image, end up at the end, which is the highlight. Eyes will always be drawn to colour and light. So here, we don't have no colour, we have light. Um, and we have atmosphere. So your eyes are going to get muddled in and around all the images, all the branches, and then it hopefully should end up at this bright highlight. Now that all sounds very good, but the issue you have with that is the high dynamic range. Um, now the Sony is very good in these high dynamic range scenes, but it still needs, I think in the situation like this, it still needs to bracket in. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get myself set up, the settings dialed in, and then we're, we'll have another little chat because I have to hurry up <laughs> and get this image. So bear with me two minutes. So as you can see from my face, the sun is now out, causing some issues. <laughs> um, I'm bracketing, but I'm not entirely sure I'm going to be able to control that, that sun up there. It's a tricky shot to, uh, it's a tricky shot to compose. It would be nice to um, maybe even grab a shot at f22 or f16 which I might do now and try and get that sunburst like I said I'm bracketing around 20th of a second f16 focused on the nearest because uh, in f16 I'm gonna get sharp sharp focus right throughout. The previous brackets without the sunburst were around a 40th of a second and I was shooting at f8 focused again in front of me here because I if I focus any further into the scene at f and then in f8 or it, before that was 5.6 6.3 I was getting softness in the in the round in the foreground uh, which I don't want so yeah it's Incredibly hard to get starburst in this uh, sort of light. So yeah, I hope this little sequence is, uh, has helped you give you an idea of um, what I was thinking when I was walking down this path. Um, I immediately was drawn to the shot I've taken before that you've already seen uh, and it is a lovely shot, lovely composition and, uh, and there are more than one tree here so you can you can work your way up and down the path kind of like what I've done here but lower down uh, but I didn't want to do that um, I wanted to try and do something different it's like what I was talking about earlier I've been here a hundred times every time I come here you notice something else or it's nice to know that you've got that one in the bag months ago you can 
relax and try something new. Um, yeah, so I would highly encourage people to try new stuff. Right, I think I'm going to call it a day. Uh, we're going to go off for another little walk a bit further on. Um, and just see if that mist has penetrated them other gnarly trees. So uh, look, look out for that next week. I'll try and do a, a little bit of video and show you that next week. But I'm Photo Ninja. This is Martin Salheel. And uh, if, if you haven't already, don't forget to go and check out Stephen Musgrove, Musgrove Photography on YouTube. I'll put his vid latest video up here and a link down below. Um, and uh, yeah, have a good weekend. See you later.